Is it possible to establish an ODL on-demand liquidity pool using the XRP ETF? This query stems from the notion that Ripple's XRP is intertwined with its success, and it sparks discussions about the coin's potential price surge, including claims of reaching $130. Meanwhile, XRP has seen a substantial 46% decline since hitting a yearly peak of $0.93 in July. In this text, we'll delve into these topics in greater detail. Hey guys, welcome back to Whiteboard Crypto Update. In today's video, we will talk about XRP's future. So be sure to stay focused as you surely don't want to miss out on this. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads. Please remember this is not a financial advice video. Mark Phillips, a former U.S. Air Force member and AVID XRP supporter, recently shared his thoughts on the potential of an XRP exchange-traded fund, ETF, within the context of Ripple's on-demand liquidity. Phillips speculated that such a configuration could lead to a dual increase in value. The key question posed was whether an XRP ETF could serve as an ODL pool, potentially causing the ETF's value to rise as asset prices increased within the ODL. In simple terms, Phillips was exploring the idea of whether an XRP ETF could facilitate international payments within the ODL pool, with the belief that increased usage of the pool could drive the ETF's value up due to two factors. XRP appreciation and heightened demand from ODL users. On the contrary, Ponzi Micros, the originator of the digital generation and author of Understanding the Crypto Economy, presented a contrasting viewpoint. Micros argued that Phillips' proposal clashed with the fundamental principles of ODL, emphasizing the need for a decentralized, neutral digital asset in ODL operations. He deemed the idea absurd, given that an ETF lacks these qualities. Phillips countered Micro's criticism by clarifying that he was referring to the potential use of XRP held in a spot ETF as part of an ODL pool. Nonetheless, Micro stressed that XRP within an ETF remains locked in reserve, rendering it unsuitable for ODL or any other operational purpose. Moreover, Micros highlighted that ODL's primary objective is to facilitate global consumers' access to XRP on exchanges using fiat currencies. According to him, ODL involves purchasing and selling XRP on exchanges for fiat, allowing individuals worldwide to obtain XRP. The discussion surrounding an XRP ETF primarily arises from XRP's unique position as the only altcoin with clear regulatory status in the United States, which places it ahead of Ethereum ETF and other crypto assets in the eyes of the XRP community. Thus, XRP is eligible for an ETF. Mates Bucks, a prominent figure in the XRP community, asserts that Ripple's success on a large scale is contingent on the digital asset XRP experiencing substantial growth. This contradicts Ripple's narrative, which emphasizes XXRP's independence from the company. Bucks argues that Ripple's non-XRP innovations lack the revolutionary impact sought by the industry as it moves toward instant cross-border asset transfers, positioning Ripple uniquely to resolve these issues. He suggests that Ripple may need to issue an IPO or witness XFRP's prosperity for its expansion to be sustained. Bucks believes that Ripple's XRP products are essential to the organization's long-term goals, even though its current non-XRP offerings have generated significant business. Selling XRP remains crucial to Ripple's primary objective of surpassing its current position. Bucks contends that Ripple must expand effectively to integrate with the broader financial system, potentially achieving its goals through this integration. Despite some successes and client onboarding for non-XRP products, Ripple still faces a considerable journey towards achieving widespread live adoption. While David Schwartz, Ripple's CEO, advised against creating products reliant on XRP, Bucks remains adamant 
that Ripple's success hinges on XRP, and he believes Ripple is fully aware of this. This is exemplified by Ripple's aggressive legal battle against the SEC and substantial investments to secure regulatory clarity for XRP in the United States. Bucks further hypothesizes that Ripple is thriving as a result of its custodianship of a significant portion of XXRP's success. It's important to note that Buck's opinions diverge from those of Ripple and the broader XRP community, which place strong emphasis on XRP's independence from Ripple as a corporation. The value of XRP, an integral component of the decentralized XRPL, is predominantly influenced by market conditions. Ripple emphasized this independence in its key 2018 XRP markets report, but the company's actions and close association with XRP continue to affect its trajectory, sparking discussions about their relative independence. Furthermore, Burning Stars, a prominent member of the XRP community, has put forward a compelling argument for XRP reaching $50 or even $100. This prediction is based on statements made by Ripple CTO David Schwartz regarding digital currencies potentially challenging the U.S. dollar's dominance as the world's reserve currency. Stars believes that if digital assets indeed become global reserve currencies, the value of XRP could surge significantly, making millionaire status attainable for XRP holders, especially if XRP reaches price points like $50 or $100. At the time of writing, XRP is priced at $0.50. Achieving $50 would require a remarkable 9,763% increase, while $100 would necessitate a staggering 19,627% surge. Some individuals remain skeptical, but STARS counters that given XRP's potential role in the global financial ecosystem, these price levels are feasible. He acknowledges skepticism but believes that there is more at play than meets the eye. Stars asserts with confidence that many believe this scenario will come to pass and warns the community to be cautious of those who may secretly amass wealth while discouraging others to minimize competition. He points out that such behavior is not new. It's worth recalling that David Schwartz unveiled his World Reserve Money Hypothesis recently suggesting that nations seeking an uncontrollable currency might turn to decentralized crypto assets, although he didn't specifically mention XRP. Ripple's focus on XRP as a global reserve currency has waned, but many supporters believe that if it were to happen, XRP's value would soar. In addition to STARS predictions, market observers have made optimistic yet cautious forecasts for XRP based on historical statistics, with one analyst projecting a significant XRP spike to $130. The pressing question remains, why did XRP's price experience a sudden drop recently? According to a recent study by Kiko, a leading distributor of cryptocurrency market statistics, XRP's value has declined by nearly 50% since reaching $0.93 in July. Kiko attributes this decline to sell-offs on UBIT and AUX. XRP had a challenging month in August, especially when compared to other popular altcoins. It was the worst-performing altcoin among the top five by market cap, experiencing a 17% decrease in value against Bitcoin in August. This prompted traders to lock in profits and reassess their holdings. At the time of publication, XRP is trading at $0.50, marking a significant drop from its recent high. Kiko's analysis considered various factors, including the average share of sell volume for XRP across multiple exchanges. It revealed that selling pressure was particularly prevalent on UBIT and AUX, two of the largest Korean exchanges. Notably, UBIT recorded the highest percentage of XRP sell orders in August among prominent exchanges, accounting for 55% of the total. This is significant because UBIT controls a substantial global supply of XRP. High sell orders for XRP were also observed on Binance, 
the world's largest exchange, alongside UBIT and AUX. However, Binance saw more XRP buy orders than sell orders, whereas Kraken had more sell orders than buy orders. Coinbase, on the other hand, witnessed an increase in buying activity during that period, although its XRP volume is smaller compared to Binance and UBIT. Interestingly, XRP's average deal size on Coinbase outperformed other top 10 cryptocurrencies, indicating strong demand from major U.S. traders. Kiko suggests that the increased demand for XRP corresponded with investors regaining access to the asset following the crucial July court decision. XRP maintained strong trading volume throughout the dip compared to other altcoins, with an average trade volume of 400 and $62.8 million over the previous month. It's important to note that XRP is traded at lower fees on U.S. markets compared to foreign exchanges, which may explain the selling pressure observed on UBIT and Binance. In conclusion, XRP's recent price fluctuations have sparked discussions about its potential role in the crypto ecosystem, its relationship with Ripple, and its future price prospects. While there are differing opinions within the XRP community, the ongoing developments in the crypto space and regulatory landscape continue to influence the XRP market. As XRP continues to evolve, market participants will closely monitor its performance and potential for growth in the global financial landscape. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on XRP? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos, then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest XRP and cryptocurrency news. Until the next video comes out, you can watch our other videos about XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video. Goodbye.